Hey everyone, I've got a very cool trick to show you. It's going to make you look like you're a genius, which is always good. Uh, it works by you going up to a spectator, a friend, family member, it doesn't matter, and asking them for a date. It could be any date, it could be a random date, it could be a significant date such as a birthday or anniversary. Um, and you're going to get that date and you're going to be able to tell them what day of the week that date falls on uh, without using a calendar, a computer, a calculator, a pencil or a pad. It's very cool. Uh, you do it all in your head, and uh, I'll show you how to do it uh, with a little example. Let's say May 14th of this year, so 2011. I can tell you right away that May 14th, 2011 was on a May 14th, 2011 was on a Saturday. Uh, so do it all in my head. It's very cool. Let's try something a little harder though. That was pretty easy. Uh, let's try my birthday, the day I was born, June 1st, 1993. So that was on a So the day I was born, June 1st, 1993 was on was on a Tuesday. And you can check that out uh if you don't believe me, but I can assure you it was on a Tuesday. Uh very cool. And I'll show you how to do that. This is a very cool trick. I learned it uh, at my school. I was, I'm was i part of a, the volunteer club for my school and every, I guess, about two months we do a senior citizen's breakfast and I happened to be talking to this uh, man and he was, uh, he was amazing. He knew hundreds of cool math tricks and word tricks and word problems. It was, it was really cool, but the one that really caught my attention was this one. So, uh, I grabbed a napkin, uh, napkin and I wrote down this sequence that he taught me. Um, and this is basically the secret behind this trick. It's amazing. I'm not sure how he remembered it, but he not only remembered this, but like I said, hundreds of other uh, tricks. It was really amazing. Uh, so here's how to do it. Basically, you're going to take the date that is given to you. And so let's use, for example... June 1st, uh, let's do 2011, and what you're going to do is take, see the first step it says here, is take the year, I just circled the last, uh, the AR in year because that signifies that you want to take the last two numbers, so 11, and you're going to add 11, then you're going to add uh, that number, you're going to divide it by 4 and drop all fractions. So 11, that would be 2 because it would be 2 point something. So you're just going to add 2. So it's going to be 11 plus 2 plus, then you can see next, you're going to do over here is the day. So first, because it's June 1st, you're going to add a 1. Then you're going to add, over here it says 3 months. Now, for month, you have to refer to this chart. Uh, it helps if you memorize it. I did memorize it, but if not, I guess you can make a little uh, piece of paper with it on it until you can memorize it. So, June, you can see it goes January, February, March, April, May, June. June is 5, so you're going to add 5. And then you're going to add the last thing. Uh, see here fourth it says add zero for 20th and add six for 21st uh, don't ask me why uh, this is but it just is so if it's in the 20th century you're gonna you don't have to add anything you just add zero and then if it's in the 21st century which is the 2000s you're going to add a six so because it's 2011 you're going to add a six okay so you have these five numbers you add them together and you get 25. So 25. Now you're going to take that 25 and you're going to divi uh, divide it by 7. And that is going to equal, uh, you're going to take the remainder of that, sorry, and that's going to equal 4. So the remainder of that will be 4. And then you refer to this chart over here. Uh, it says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There's a number next to each one, and you just have to remember it starts with Sunday. And when you get to Saturday, it's a zero. So four, Wednesday. So four equals Wednesday. And 
that is the day that uh, June 1st, 2011 will be on. So if you could do this in your head, it's a very cool effect. Uh, if you can't do it in your head right away, you don't have to be a genius, but it helps to be somewhat good at math. Uh, if you can't do it in your head, uh, just do it on a piece of paper. It's, I would say, just as effective. Uh, it's very cool. So let me show you one more. Oh. Okay. I'll show you it right over here. So let's take another day. I'll do, I'll show you how I did the other one, June 1st of 93. June 1st, 1993. Oh, and just before I show you this, another thing to keep in mind is on a leap year, uh, the only thing that changes is for January, you change 1 to 0, and for February, you change 4 to 3. So that's the only thing that changes there. So anyways, uh, June 1st, 1993. You can start off with the easy thing. You can start off with the day. So it was on the 1st, plus uh, the month. Uh, if you memorized it, you would know it's a 5. If not, just refer to the chart, and you can see January, February, March, April, May, June. So that's a 5, plus the year, which is 93, plus the year divided by 4, dropping all fractions, and that is 23 I believe yep 23 and then you're going to uh, you don't actually need to add it but I'll just show you uh, because it's in the you can see because it's in the 20th century you add 0 so put a 0 there so when you add that all up and divide it by 7 you get well let's see add this all up you get 122 divide that by 7 it's a little tougher in your head but you get the remainder will be 3 and 3 according to this chart 3 is Tuesday e equals Tuesday and that is also correct so uh, it's a little harder when it's a year like I guess uh, 93 but it's just a little more difficult again if you could do it in your head it's pretty uh, cool but if not it's just as effective so very cool trick um, I have it on this very girly napkin but that's okay because the trick uh, overpowers the girliness of the napkin so very cool trick uh, if you have any questions comment I'll be happy to answer Thanks for watching.